Hi there, everybody. This is Lee, and I'm talking about um, dozens of police cases that have been dismissed as a result of the misconduct and termination of two officers in Georgia that after viewing a video of them beating uh, and kicking a handcuffed subject who was on the ground and under control, um, it was deemed excessive force and those two officers were terminated. One, because he actually lied about that incident um, and his superiors discovered through the video evidence that he was a liar and that he's likely lied before and that he'll likely lie again and therefore he wasn't trustworthy of the badge and certainly not a gun. And so he was terminated and then the officer um, for whom he lied uh, was also terminated. And it didn't stop there. Uh, they uh, decided to review the, the cases. The Solicitor General dismissed 89 cases where officers Robert McDonald and Michael Bongiovanni uh, were a principal officer or a main witness. They reviewed their cases and then decided to dismiss them and that even more are under review. Um, and so you know, this is the correct way um, that Georgia has decided to um, take steps in terms of police misconduct on the force, how it makes every other officer on that force look bad, and how it's bad public relations, and how it's even an insult when an officer lies to his own supervisor about an incident and then the supervisor has to find out from public um, sources that the officer lied to him. He's not trustworthy. And so um, prosecutors of Gwinnett County um, are, also, uh, are also looking at 40 felony cases where the officers were involved in some way that those are being reviewed too. And so this is Gwinnett County in Georgia, um, and that a criminal investigation into uh, the officers' actions are also underway as well, that they are taking steps. Um, it's happening. Um, There's also a New York Times write-up of this incident. And I, I just want to say that um, we're finding out some interesting things lately with the dismissal in Massachusetts of over 21,000 um, drug cases because of misconduct in the lab where the drug testing um, took place, that there was a person who was instrumental in uh, providing false witness, um, basically lying about the tests that she did, and which resulted in convictions that were dismissed, just tossed out. Uh, she was untrustworthy uh, for past cases and any future cases. And that she is not the only one. Um, there was someone um, also supposedly testing uh, for narcotics, and she was actually manufacturing drugs herself and then taking those drugs, perhaps dealing those drugs. And so she is untrustworthy. And so it's basically a black mark against any institution that protects people such as this. And so they have to get rid of them. But what we're discovering is um, what the true systematic abuse has been, that uh, we've had officers engaged in racial profiling towards African-Americans, um, police misconduct towards African-Americans, uh, brutality against African-Americans, escalation of charges against um, African-Americans, and then perhaps excessive sentencing um, as of African-Americans as a result of poor defense um, of uh, African-Americans in the courtroom. And then you have some people who are pointing out, well, look at all the African-Americans who are incarcerated. They must be, be committing all the crimes because look at them. And then we see that there has been a concerted effort 
to make that happen, to incarcerate these people, to make up false convictions and then put them in the prison and then say, well, look at all of them in the prison. They must be criminals. And we're finding out that there's been abuses of the system every step of the way from the targeting by police to failures in the labs that, and maybe they're planting drugs, maybe they're testing drugs, and maybe they're not testing drugs, just coming up with the results, um, poor representation in the courtroom, um, and then, you know, there you go. And so there's been some reversals. Um, some things are happening. People are starting to realize what has been happening is um, an effort to expand and continue the slave system, the antebellum slave system, by escalating charges and making false convictions um, against African Americans. And then, um, you know, you have some people who are saying, well, you know, maybe we should also look at the entire nonviolent drug offender issue itself. Um, the same way that we're looking at sanctuary cities and um, placing uh, scrutiny on officer conduct when it comes to immigration policy and how there should be more care in the enforcement of that. And rather than um, make it one or the other, we can place equal scrutiny as well when it comes to nonviolent drug offenders uh, and the nature of that crime and whether there should be actual enforcement um, of nonviolent drug offenders uh, rather than treatment. 